Chris LaFawn, also known as Airsoft Fatty, has had quite the eventful year, getting evicted, beefing with old friends, and appearing on Fish Tank Live. Chris has definitely had his ups and downs. And when we last left him, he had a brand new tiny house, he wasn't quite so scared about his living situation anymore, things were looking good. But these last couple months, it seems like things have been getting worse and worse. Chris has not been maintaining his home properly, he's gotten a new pet, and given his past track record, that's quite disturbing, and he has made numerous statements about not feeling safe. Stay tuned guys, cause we're gonna get into it all, right here, right now. I began to notice that something was truly off about Airsoft Fatty's new living situation after a couple videos and posts that he had made. The one in particular that caught my eye was titled Safety Stream. I would just start recording the stream when it was instantly deleted. The stream was very short, and I would have completely missed all of this if some users over on r slash airsoft fatty wouldn't have clipped it and posted it over there. Big shout out to those guys, link in the description below. Let me show you guys this stream, it's only a minute long and you'll notice some pretty strange things about it. Nah feeling super safe right now so I'm kind of just going live to make sure something happens uh, they did this interview he's witnessed uh, uh, I um yeah I um yeah Am I okay? No, I'm not. I, I really don't know if I'm okay, okay? I'm just literally really terrified right now. I, I don't. Chris attributes all of this towards his mental illness going unmedicated, which is a very real possibility. But there are a couple of other posts that make me question what the situation actually was. Like this community post, which was posted slightly before the safety stream. Chris states, Someone close to me stole my YouTube account. I desperately need help. I'm tired of this drama. And judging by the way that the safety stream ended, it seems like someone else has access to his account, which has happened before with Chris's quote-unquote managers. Now truth be told, I don't know much about the land that Airsoft Fatty is living on and the guys who are helping him out, but I've read some alleged things from around the Airsoft Fatty subreddit which don't paint the prettiest of pictures. I want to preface beforehand that this is all speculation, theory, and allegation, but I think it needs to be brought up because there are some very strange coincidences going on here. Chris has stated on numerous occasions that these guys who he is friends with grow marijuana for a living. Some of the sleuths over on Reddit found out that neither of these guys were registered to legally grow in their state. All the while, like clockwork, Airsoft Fatty's GoFundMe has been getting thousands and thousands of dollars. And we're not just talking $5 here, $10 there, amounting to $4,000. No, we're talking he is getting like $4,000 in one donation at a time, quite frequently. I know that Chris has tons of subscribers and he could just have one very generous benefactor out there who's helping him out. But I also know that he's hanging out with some pretty shady guys and these donations are a little suspect. Like I said, this is all just theories, but it's definitely something to think about. I wish I could say that the safety stream was some of Chris's weirdest new content, because Chris has been trying everything to go viral again. He's been calling out everyone under the sun to a boxing match. It seems to be one of his great interests right now. From Badlands Chugs to Boogie, there is no one that he will not fight. In between boxing callouts, Chris has been making Cooking with Fatty videos, as well as his new Shrek content. You see, after the lead singer of Smash Mouth passed away, Chris was looking for an opportunity to pay tribute. 
and he could think of no better way than dressing up as Shrek. They painted Fatty green, taped a couple of tubes to his head, and content ensued. I would often find myself looking in the background of these videos, just trying to get an update on what the tiny house was looking like. And I gotta say, this Shrek video is very telling of his current living situation. What are you doing in me shop? Let's just take a look at this paint job first. Obviously, you can tell that it's still wet, but as it dries, it gets crustier and crustier. Chris's eyes are very unusually dilated, I'd just like to add that in. They've strapped yellow tubes to his head, which I would bet money that Chris saw these laying on the ground and got the whole video idea from. But if you guys are looking for a cheap, quick Halloween costume for under $3, I think this is your best bet. But it's not just Fatty's eyes that have me a little bit concerned, it's also his unusually high energy throughout certain points of this video. I'm not accusing Chris of anything, but I'm just wanting to make a note of it because it's something I've noticed. Moving on from Chris's strange new behavior, we have the status of the house. And I want to just start by saying it's going about as well as I thought it would. During Chris's Shrek video, he drops a piece of bread on the floor, and you can see that the carpet is clearly pulling up. Now, a lot of people knew this was going to happen when they installed that fake turf. I've seen it happen before personally. The stuff just doesn't last. But you'll also notice that Chris hasn't been doing much vacuuming either. The interior of the place is an absolute wreck these days, and we'll get into that here in a little bit. But I truly don't think Chris has vacuumed once since he got the place. I don't even think he owns a vacuum, to be honest. After he takes the video outside, we get a good look at his outhouse. Which I ain't gonna lie, looks like a pretty dang quality outhouse. Only problem is that it's outside and winter is rapidly approaching. I think winter is going to be a very interesting time to watch Airsoft Fatty in the tiny homestead. After he finishes eating in his outhouse, which is literally just a deep hole that you poop into, he starts walking along the side of the house where he reveals something that I saw coming the whole time. That Chris has not done any landscaping around his house. Every time I see the side, the weeds get thicker and thicker, and I can only imagine how low the house has sunk already. It is only a matter of time before this thing is overtaken by weeds and sinks into the mud. And from what I've been able to gather, it seems like this place is a little bit of a walk away from anywhere else. And Chris's only means of transportation on his own is his bike, which I cannot imagine being comfortable for a man of his size. And all the while, Airsoft Fatty is giving a tribute to the lead singer of Smash Mouth. I wasn't nearly as interested in that. What I was interested in was the details I could pick up from the background footage. Then the camera pans to a kitten. Chris's new kitten. I'm sure some of you are like, what's the harm in Chris having a cat? He's got a home. He can take care of it. What's the issue? Well, guys, there's actually a lot of issues, and we're going to go through them right now. Back when Chris's mom was alive, they had over a dozen cats living in their home. Neither Chris nor his mom properly cleaned up after these animals, and eventually the house was overtaken by cat feces and urine. Years ago, when iDubbbz filmed the Airsoft Fatty documentary, he noted a lot of these things, like an entire basement covered in cat waste. Already pretty terrible stuff, but what I'm about to tell you is probably the worst. Before Chris went on Fish Tank Live, he and his cat were homeless. And when Chris decided that he was going to join the show, he had no one to watch his cat. So, he took it to a shelter. But not just any shelter. The kind of shelter where if the cat or dog isn't adopted in a certain period of time, they're put down. Chris even admitting that the cat would already be gone by the time he returned. A very messed up act in my opinion. If you're going to get an animal, and if you have to give it away, at least try to give it to a place where they're not gonna just put it down if no one takes it in a week. But then, to not be financially stable in any way, shape, or form, and to get a new animal that's going to rely on you, 
It's messed up. I'm sorry guys, I've cut Chris a lot of slack in the past, but this right here, it's very telling of his character. He doesn't feel bad about what happened to that last cat. No, he's already forgotten. He's just happy he has a new, cute baby cat. To have so many animals mistreated under your watch and for you to continue to accumulate them is unforgivable in my eyes. On the very off chance that you're watching this, you gotta give that cat up, man. You know you're not equipped to take care of it. You're gonna go back on Fish Tank here in a couple months. There will be no one to take care of that thing again. And even if there is, for you to completely forget about what happened before, it's messed up. Do the right thing. Give the cat back. Or at least give it to someone who does not live in a shack. Like I've said, guys, I cut Chris a lot of slack in the past, but the more research I do, the more this cat thing bothers me. But none of this bothers Chris or his buddies. It seems like they are going to continue to up the donation goal of the GoFundMe, that Chris is going to continue to own cats despite his track record, and that the fatty shack is quickly rotting. I wish I could say that I wasn't surprised by any of these things, because I really shouldn't knowing Chris by now, but these last couple months have been especially scummy. We can only hope that the cat finds a better home, and that Airsoft Fatty's situation is truly safe. And though I thoroughly disagree with some of the things that Chris has recently done, it seemed like that day he was truly scared for his life. And I just hope that he hasn't gotten himself into a situation that he can't get out of. That's all we have on Airsoft Fatty today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, especially till the end. Big shout out to all my channel members. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, wherever you are. Just go have a good one. Have a good time. And be sure to keep it kiwi. Not feeling super safe right now, so I'm kind of just going live to make sure something happens.